That's good because when you think about back when I when you think about this question, like I was I was meaning it more individually wise. Like I wasn't thinking of the fact of like, okay, did this did I have this girl get this much better? Did I get this much better as far as a coach? I was just thinking more so individually, how did you, you know, succeed it along this year? And I think that's great how you said the first thing was oh, I adapted with my mindset or just having a good day. And get, like, even if I'm at 70% today, giving my best 70%, because I could have easily right. gave 50% when I'm at a 70%, you know? Right. And so just getting those little steps day by day individually is going to always help as the next season go on and next season go on. And like you said, every day is something different with the coaching realm of this world. And so every day is not going to look the same. And you're going to have days where it's like, oh, Lord, but as long as you're able to, okay, let me just put my best foot forward and just step outside of myself or step back right. and realize, like you said earlier, like this is actually a great job, opportunity, everything. So why not give it my best every day? So I love, I love how you answered that. Uh, last question. What steps or skills do you plan on working for uh, towards next season and perfecting it for the next season to come? Yeah, so I think the one thing that I kind of ran into this year um, was – being able, and I kind of mentioned it earlier, being able to coach multiple, you know, um, individuals, mm -hmm. um, not everyone's the same. Not everyone's going to respond the same. Um, I grew up on the coach that was in my face, you know, giving me every, which, you know, cuss word he could, <laughs> um, that's not everyone's, you know, not everyone's going to take to that right. um, now. So, you know, trying to figure out, um, best way to convey, you know, to those separate personalities, when someone's down, how can I get through to you without, you know, being too much in that right. moment? Um, you know, I think that's probably my biggest thing kind of moving into next year, trying to, you know, find that balance, figure out a way to, um, you know, like I said, work with everybody, even when you're at, a, you know, a down moment, how can I convey to you? Everything's going to be all right. Let's work this out. You're going to be fine. Um, I think, you know, something that uh, continue to work on also is just like you, uh, all the questions kind of connect, you know, working on that player development side. Again, going back to not everyone's going to learn the same, you know, it's one thing to pull the film. It's one thing to, hey, do it this way, but trying to figure out, okay, I want you to realize this. Mm -hmm. How can I convey that to you again? Mm -hmm. Like, do I need to put you in a situation where, okay, I see it fast paced Mm -hmm. Or do I need to slow it down for you? Do I need to be able to, you know, break it down into sections until we're ready to speed it up? Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's probably my biggest thing going into next year is understanding not everyone's going to learn the same. Mm -hmm. um, not everyone's going to take to things the same. So mm -hmm. being able to, again, adapt, trying to figure out, okay, this is going to work best for you in this situation. This might not work good for, you know, this person in this situation. So, you know, being able to, you know, figure out, you know, different ways to convey to people. Mm -hmm. That's good. I When I think about that, like you said, it is hard to, cause I grew up the same way. Like I had coaches like you're, I'm in your face. I'm screaming at you. Like, you know, pull you from A to Z. Like you're going to do right. this. You're going to do that. And now you can't, like you said, you can't coach everybody saying some people break down, some people listen, some people cry, some people, you know get mad like say something back like it's so many different ways to coach people and I think the the coaches that have one way of coaching a certain player or you can only coach this certain player is going to grow harder for you to develop or recruit or get people out of the portal that way because now you do have kids doing their research on how's this coach now you do have people like you know how's this coach going to be an active you know if I'm injured or this and that like people want these girls they want more of a family or, or so are you going to give that and so I do you know like that you said like hey I got to figure out how to coach different places or just train them in different ways too and so that's a good you know learning stepping stone and everything and I think that's going to work out well for you um I really appreciate you and your time and being on this call with me and I you know learning so many different analogies and terms and insight from you and uh Hopefully we can continue, you know, this relationship and build on more and, and just continue to have small conversations and gain insights because, you know, we're going to be the next future, you know, assistant coaches and everything. So right. I definitely would love to stay in, co uh, stay in touch with you and, yeah. you know, I wish you the best moving forward and I uh, 
be cool to, you know, talk to you in the future and stuff some more. Yeah, definitely. I appreciate you having me on. Appreciate you uh, talking with me. And yeah, definitely stay in touch. And like you said, we're for the future. So we got to keep building this thing. So absolutely. Thank you. Appreciate it. Keep using your platform. I love it. Thank you.